Hi, this is Pradeep. Welcome to my Balaku Educational YouTube channel. Today, we will discuss about the Financial Accounting First Syllabus for become first sum as per the RCUB and also the question paper pattern prescribed by the RCUB and also CBCS syllabus. Let us start. Here we have first in it is conversion of single entry system into double entry system. It includes need for conversion, steps involved in conversion and problems relating to conversion of single entry system into double entry system. And second unit is accounts of professionals. It includes only the professions, professionals like chartered accounts, lawyers and doctors only, fees account, petty cash book, client's ledger, receipts and payment accounts, income and expenditure account and a balance sheet of chartered accountants, lawyers and doctors. Third unit is Form Accounting. It includes the meaning of form accounting, objectives of form accounting, books of accounts to be maintained under single entry and double entry for form accounting. Preparation of form revenue account to ascertain the profit and loss of various sections like crop, livestock, dairy and poultry and also the preparation of a balance sheet for agriculture, dairy farming and poultry farming. And next is fourth in it, the royalty accounts. It contains the meaning and importance of royalty accounts some of the important terms which is necessary for the understand the royalty that is the minimum rent account, short workings, recruitment of short workings, strike period, entries and accounts in the books of lessee and lesser excluding sub lessee. And the last unit, fifth unit is Fire Insurance Accounting. Introduction of Fire Insurance Accounting Need Loss of Stock Policy Steps for Ascertaining Fire Insurance Claim Treatment of Salvage Average Clause Treatment of Abnormal Items Competition of Fire Insurance Claim and move on to the next part is question paper model. Here we have question paper model section A answer any 10 of the following questions. Each questions will carry 2 marks, total of 20 marks. They will give you 12 questions out of only if you have to answer 10 questions. And section B answer any 3 of the following questions. They will give you total 5 questions and you have to answer only 3 questions and each question will carries 
फाइव मार्क्स टोटल फिफ्टीन मार्क्स एंड सेक्शन सी आंसर any two of the followings they will give you four questions out of only you have to answer two questions of 15 marks total 30 marks and the last one is section d compulsory question here you don't have choice and it's based on case study it will carries 15 marks and the total question paper is 80 marks